Hey guys, welcome back to Small Star Wars Destiny. Right, before we kick off with this game, I just want to say a massive thank you for all the guys that have been subscribing to my channel. I cannot thank you guys enough. It actually means a lot to me that, that you guys would subscribe to my videos. So thank you very much for tuning in and hitting those likes and giving me those comments. It all mean a lot to me. So again, thank you guys. So without further ado, let's kick it off. So what I'm using... Um, today I'm doing a triple bill of Thrawn deck. So my first one I'm using tonight is Thrawn and Bib. Now this is becoming my favorite deck. I love it. And I'm playing against Newt Gunray and Darth Vader. Here we go. Captain Reactivate deck. So what we're looking for... Oh, we've got Ace in the Hole. Now, there is a Crime Lord in this deck. I'm tempted. I might keep that just if I have a little bit of mitigation. But what would be Ace to get a Crime Lord and a... <laughs> Chance cube first hand. Let's see what we get. We don't get it, so we'll play as with. So he gets two for his rollout. There you go. He's got two, and I get three. So he gets reduced weapon costs. I want the shields. Now I play Grand Moth, so I'm ready to do to flip the battlefield back to where it was. Right, so he plays Dark Council as his first action. Awesome. Um, Let's get Thrawn out there. He's got one resource left. Let's say one. I'm a bit gutted I didn't get a chance to cube all the Crime Lord. Um, yeah, we'll get rid of that Fill Your Anger. I've got nothing to pop back, and he can exhaust to gain a resource and draw a card. Okay. It's not a bad uh, opener for him. So when Vader kicks in, I'm thinking about ditching the Electroshock. There's a lot of events in his hand there. Okay, he's going to use it. So he's going to exhaust. And do that. Okay. So let's let's probe. Because I think he had a few events in that hand. Yep, yep. Okay, so we get a support and we get the other events. Okay. So he's got left a sound the alarm and that imperial expect, uh, expectation. So I've got nothing I'm going to drop down, so I'm just going to roll out Bib. So the aim of this deck, guys, make tons of money, buy out, control. It's basically from car. It's from car round two. I've been playing it a lot in person, and it's worked out really well. So, um, yeah, I'm, I've been pretty impressed with it so far. So let's see how this rocks out. Okay, so he does get a focus. So I'm going to be crazy. I'm going to ditch Ace and Hole, and we're going to reroll. Okay, so we get money. Money is good. We like lots and lots of money. He's ditching sound the alarm. I might even might not even focus here. He gets a two sword. Okay. I'm gonna take free money. He's gonna do two. Go for bib. I will put a shield on bib. He will focus. And we will, he doesn't like you. He'll claim, and we'll pass. Okay, so we made a lot of money, that is, and we survived. Not bad. So, drawing the next hand. Ah, man! Right, so we are still digging for a Crime Lord and a buyout. Um, this is nice. Chance Cube is awesome. So I've got to discard a card. Um, hmm. I'm pinging. Yep, he's pinging. Let's get rid of. Oh, I really like probe. Let's get rid of my parry. So he gets a free. Oh, do we sound the alarm? Do we sound the alarm? Mm. Hmm. I say we just play chance cube and punch bib. He's going to draw a card, and we roll back into the pool, and guess the blank. Okay, so we're going to roll Thrawn in, pay one for that chance cube, and we're going to say one, because I don't like overconfidence, I don't like feel your anger, um, little horrible cards. So, oh, okay, he's got a lot of reactivate here. He can't feel your anger, he could doubt. Let's get rid of that leadership. So he has to kill. Oh we didn't oh we didn't do his ability. Ah that's my fault. Sorry, sorry, yeah. I should have remembered his ability. So yeah, he's gonna hit him. 
So now I can plan for this. I could probe. Hmm. Let's turn that to a five. He's gonna play the ancient. He's getting ready to do the uh, price of failure. Let's wait for him to reroll a little bit more. So we're gonna get four resources. He's gonna roll a new and get an indirect. We'll roll in bib. So if we're getting specials or money, we're always looking for money and specials, guys. We could crush one of his money. Not doing too much there. So he'll be down to three cards. Ooh. Yeah, this might be a good time to probe now. If he doesn't hit damage, he doesn't. So we're going to probe. Ooh. We're going to probe away and see if we hit that price of failure. Come on. Oh, man. Okay, at the very least, he can't reroll. We can be rejoice in that. So he's going to do one indirect. I'll put a shield on front. I'll focus to a money, because he's going to disrupt me. Yep, he's going to do it. I'll take the money. Will he claim? Now he's going to draw a card. I want to see if he kills Newt. I'm going to pass. Will he kill Newt? Oh, did he just get Mole's lightsaber? <laughs> that wouldn't be good. No, Kyler's lightsaber, even better. Okay, I will pass. Let's see if he does kill Newt. Is he? Yep, he's gonna kill Newt. I've still got my defend in my hands. I can totally nullify this. So I'll pass, because he can't reroll. So he's gonna, I'm gonna ditch this. The only thing I'm worried about is melee damage. And lo and behold, he rolls a bit. Um, I'm not too worried if, ah, do I? Hmm. Do I waste money doing that? Two damage is two damage, I guess. Let's do it. And then we'll claim. And we're gonna be that too, just in case. Yep, you can have your shield. There we go. So he killed bit uh Captain Fishboy himself and did nothing with it. So we can rejoice in that. Alright, now we're starting to get the things we want. Now, the reason I've got Grand Moth is because I love the battlefield flip. And the focus sides are ace. Now, I've got to play this clever. I've got to find his mitigation and destroy it with, before I play the Crime Lord. So let's have a look. Um, let's roll in from. Now, what would hit Crime Lord really bad? Hidden motive, again, overconfidence. We're still going to say one. He's got a lot of money. Yes, I feel your anger right there, isn't it? And that's it. Boom. So, the only way he gets around it is if he kills Bib before I do it. Oh, he needs to do, it's not hard, he just needs to do six damage. I probably should have played the personal shield anyway. The real question is I have got another ace in the hole. And I've got another Crime Lord. Do I hold off? Oh, sorry, man. Don't worry. It's all good. Alright. He's playing the other Ancient. All I've got is a silly little... Uh... Oh, no, I should deck from. Um... I'm so worried about Vader. Let's just do it, though. This is what the deck's all about. Uh, if he plays the Ancient, I get a chance to roll out, and he's got no way to mitigate it. Here we go. Can Bib do it? Oh, there's no special! Let's give Vader a chance. We will ditch the Blackmail. He doesn't get the damage. So we will ditch Personal Shield and reroll all of this, because we need to focus. Oh, we get a special! 
<laughs> GG. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was an awesome game. Awesome game. Um, I love this deck, guys. Please try it out. It's literally Thrawn Car. It's awesome. It churns money. That wasn't a great opener, and I still managed to pull it out. Well, I thought he was going for the right target. This guy played Ace, okay? But try this deck out. It's awesome. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for tuning into this vid. I've got two more. I will not say vid again, it'll be video. I've got two more coming. Um, this is my ugly video, so expect two more for on that videos, and thank you very much for tuning in and watching the game. And as always, may the force be with you.